Hi guys, this video we're having a look at the Necker Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees video game NES appearance with authentic music playing box. Um, now, um, if you've seen my video of the original one, the SDCC Comic Con exclusive um, Jason which had glow in the dark mask and weapons and a hideous face then you probably wonder why I brought another one in all honesty um, but it's because the box plays authentic theme music that's why I brought it um, I'm just putting the boxes side by side, just having a look. This is the first time I've had a look myself, just to see. And I believe they are exactly the same. Obviously, we've got the Comic Con 2013 Comic Con exclusive up in the corner here, and there's a sticker. Well, say a sticker, it's not. A, it's a sticker, yeah. It just says open flap to play authentic theme music. Um, and the difference here it also doesn't say age is 17 and up. Everything else looks exactly the same. I'm saying that, yeah, yeah, it is. They're all exactly the same. Side, back. Obviously, we've got different things on the back. The write up is exactly the same, but different pictures. His hideous face has moved to there. Glowing weapons has now changed to deadly weapons. And, glow and hideous face, floating head. Um, Starts the different in the boxes. Like I say, there's not too much in it. Not too much real reason to get this. Um, I can't be honest with you. I've had this for quite a while, and I just, as much as you guys that follow my videos know that I love Friday the Thirteenth, this just didn't excite me in all honesty. So that's why I've been delayed doing this video. But you know, I'll do videos for everything. I know I'm useless at getting them out there, getting the videos out there, but I will get them out there. I promise. Um, but I just need to feel excited to do it but anyway so that's obviously the box now I have I didn't I weren't gonna open this box to be honest I weren't gonna take the plastic off and everything I weren't even gonna get a figure out of packaging but I really can't be that bothered with it in all honesty so I have um, there's another video which you'll see if you want to see the inside of this box and everything which I which I have got another box of this because that's of that's this Jason um, but I can't find what I've done with the box so I'm not going to open this box to show the inside and this is the Jason figure that comes in here with a glowing mask weapons and hideous face ah. so there you go hideous so that's that so that's the one we know so let's just get him out of the way so what we have got now is, which wasn't exclusive or anything was the just painted version basically this is exactly the same figure doesn't have the glowing mask and hands and feet and weapons oh god you know because those glowing masks hands and feet were brilliant um, anyway what you do have is Let's just sort out this box first with this music. Now, I know it's a Nintendo game. I ne I don't think I, I've, I don't think I ever played the game, and if I did, I quickly put it out of my mind. Um, and it plays you the music from the game. Kind of hoped that it would play the music from the film, but I understand why it's the game music, um, and not the, the music that we all know and love from the film. So what you get instead of that famous fantastic bit of music from the film is this and it just says that again and again and again and again and again till you just want to shut the box up because you know that's the reason why you bought it for that bit of music but anyway um, the inside is exactly the same I'm going to open it up again just to show you the inside um, 
and I'll just close it up again as quickly as possible again. Um, so we've got obviously the screenshot of the game and the background of the game, blah blah blah. blah. Sorry, I'm not going to put myself through that again. On the back, we've got it all takes place out at Crystal Lake, that pleasant little camp where happy children of all ages go to spend the fun filled summer, but summer will be different. The fun will have to wait. Jason has decided to come to Camp and Terror is the only game they'll be playing. Don't think that hiding in the cabin or staying adrift in the canoe will keep you safe. The only way to survive this summer is to challenge Jason face to face and destroy him. Don't worry that it hasn't been done before, there's always a first time. Well, not always. Um, from what I understand, the game was absolutely bloody hard and very few people completed it from what I understand. So, that's the box and that's basically why you're buying it, for the music in that box. Um, he comes with weapon, the again, an axe and a machete, and obviously the machete we know and love. These don't glow in the dark, like the the one from the... Um, that's the glow in the dark one, and this is just a painted one. So, exactly the same, just, just one's a glow in the dark, one's a painted, and same scenario with the machete. So nothing really exciting going on there. Um, the only thing of any real interest is the fact that you get Pamela's head. Don't know if this appeared in the game at all, or if it doesn't, why it's really here. But we get the head on a pole and a base, um, which I guess is to represent the beginning of Friday the 13th Part 3 3D. We had the head float. Roar. You know, if I if I could, I'd do some really cheesy synthesized 80s music and bring that up to the camera. But um, what would have been really good, really nice, is if the base actually stood up. The base is actually on a curve. Yeah. So the base isn't even flat. So. Um, you know, the whole the whole idea f I always thought for stand is that it stands, as opposed to wobbling about there. So you'll you'll probably never never use it in all honesty because if yours is anything like mine, I don't know if mine's a factory fault or anything, but this it just it's just not flat. Um, anyway, the head itself, what I, what I am pleased about it is. I don't want to say a no a new sculpt of the head that we got with the old Jason Part Two or the 45th anniversary, 45th, 25th anniversary box set. I'm making it for me. that's just because I feel that old. Um, so the 25th anniversary box set had Pamela's head on the plimp thing and the jumper and everything, um, and the and the single figure Friday the 13th Part Two Jason came with a head as well, and like I said, I don't want to say it's a, a sculpt. It's more of just a re, you know, an, a, a resized version of the same. It looks like exactly the same. In all honesty, um, but I might be I might be completely wrong. They might have might have. Um, it, ju it just looks like an, a, a bigger version of what they've already done. You know, if they just upgraded the sculpt mold or whatever. I don't know. Um, but that's side by side, and that's obviously sort of about the same size. So yeah, and obviously it's just in its blue and it's purple, and what you're supposed to do with that, I don't really know. Uh, but the Jason figure itself is the part three Richard Brooker Jason, um, which he's got demonic red eyes. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And a lot of black around the eyes as well. The, the figure itself is virtually, I say virtually the same, it is the same. The, the purple's the, the same. Yeah, no, this is a bit of a darker purple. But what you, I don't know if you can see that very well on camera, is a lot of the lines have been blacked. The highlighted bits on the, on the shirt and trousers have been blacked to show that, um, just to highlight the lines I guess, nothing really on the back just apart from around the collar. Um, 
so yeah, sorry, this uh, it might this one might look a little bit smaller because he's not on stands. Um, so yes, yeah, like I say, it's basically exactly the same figure with his hideous face. But Jason, this one's got black teeth, black around the eyes, and red eyes. And this one's just the plain colour. The masks are completely different because this is the glow in the dark mask, and it's a harder plastic. This is the softer plastic which we saw with the with the part three Jason and the battle damaged Jason. Um, and it's just a just a solid mask painted blue. Obviously, like I say, it's not the glow in the dark one that we had in the other one. And it's it seems like a very loose fit as well. You know, some of these Jason figures are quite hard to get his mask on and off. or say hard. You know, you got to pull it back a bit. This just goes on and off, on and off, no problems at all. So. That, my friends, is a look at the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th NES version 2, which had the music in the box. I don't really know how to make the title any longer. Um, but yeah, if you've got if you've got this guy, the glow in the dark one, you probably won't want that one. But if you do want this one, you probably only want it for this. And this doesn't stand up. So, um, I guess you want it for this. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> it didn't even work then. There we go. So, on that note, I'm sure you'll turn up the video off a lot more quicker than I do because that music will do your head in. But on that note, as always, guys, you take care. I really appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you again soon in the next video. All the best guys. Bye bye.